see. There's, there are concepts in each one of our program of studies that explicitly support the development of numeracy. You need to be aware of numeracy in all subject areas to draw, help draw the connections for our students. Some ex examples include, but they're not limited to, in math, number sense, operation sense, patterning, geometry, in art, symmetry, line, perspectives, ratios, scale drawings, tessellations, geometry, in social studies, we read statistics, mapping, scales, scale drawings, election data, coordinates, timelines. In science, accuracy, rounding, algebra, the climate, converting measurements, language arts, the vocabulary, explaining, justifying, interpreting, discussing, CTF, CTS, Reading measurements, proportions, ratios, 3D designs, music, time, speed, fractions, patterns, phys ed, time, distance, speed, measurement, religion, numbers, patterns, probability. The list goes on and on and on. How can you incorporate numeracy into your days? Ask questions such as, how could you sort these? How many ways can you? What happens when you? How many different can be found? What's same about this? What's different? Use the Venn diagrams. Use graphing. Use timelines. Don't do this. In English, let's count the number of lines in this poem. Yeah, I finished. I did my math part. In art, don't calculate the amount of paint needed to cover the canvas. In social studies, don't multiply the number of King Henrys by the number of King Georges. In phys ed, don't time yourself running 100 meters and then take a pulse and then draw a graph. Asking a simple question in your subject, where's the math in this, is not developing numeracy skills. These activities are just a waste of time and they accomplish very little beyond irritating your students. But I understand why we do this. Math has a problem. The fact that many kids perceive math as boring and irrelevant needs addressing. It's important that all of us unite against the idea that being bad at math is socially acceptable. It's not. Numeracy is a life skill, one that we believe everyone has a right to throughout their life. Elementary schools, we play a key role in setting a strong foundation in numeracy skills. Secondary, we play a key role in improving numeracy skills. When you go back to your classrooms, ask yourself two questions. How can I use numeracy to enhance the learning outcomes in my own curriculum? And number two, how can my subject area be enhanced by students' numeracy? What does numeracy mean to you? Well, the secret of numeracy is that it's really not a secret. Being unable to use numbers is, of course, severely limiting, but being unable to think mathematically is socially unacceptable. We use mathematical thinking all the time. The trick is to make it explicit to our students. If you explain how your subject area uses math, uses numeracy to organize and express ideas, then maybe slowly the prejudices will start to shift. I commend Edmonton Public Schools for making this giant leap forward and coming up with a numeracy guiding document and an action plan. It takes ongoing intentional work to create and sustain a school culture that will recognize, emphasize, and reinforce a cross-curricular approach to numeracy. As teams, you explore a school-wide capacity building approach to numeracy, you will not be expected to replace the special expertise of our math teachers. 
but you'll be expected to encourage colleagues to highlight the numeracy in all of our subject domains. While math teachers still have the primary responsibility for developing students' mathematical thinking, all teachers have to work together to address the, math to address the mathematical learning across the disciplines and across the day. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your day.